welcome back to the channel folks keith here from commander hoop celtic i hope you've enjoyed the last video talking about the whole james mclean situation but let's talk about celtic let's talk about the green and white the champions going for 10 in a row maybe going for a quad treb let's see so a um, couple of things i want to talk about i want to talk about the game yesterday against nice the draw against nice the um, patrick Kamala goal the lee griffith situation and the opposition tomorrow are playing which is leon so Look, it wasn't the worst result yesterday. We played quite well. We were robbed, thanks to VAR in pre-season. Question marks over it. Why was the VAR being used in pre-season? The French League, they've been using VAR, so they just wanted to test it out in the pre-season. So that's the reason why VAR was used in the game. Look, at sloppy goal we gave away. It was a good goal by Austin Edward as well from Airside, but the goal we gave away, Julian could have done better. Oyer could have done better and James Forrest. It was a sloppy defending and the player just like danced past him and then slotted him. You know, Bain couldn't do much, you know. The defence should have been on it. But we're lucky. We're not going to win every game. It's pre-season. It's all about fitness levels. It's all about getting the boys on, getting them as much players on, getting them used to being back on that pitch against opposition. And you know what? It wasn't the worst result. Fair enough. Second half, we did step it up a gear. Ryan Christie had a golden opportunity didn't work for him but you know what he's going to be a phenomenal player this season a massive massive backing that this guy is going to be the player of the season for us I think Christie is going to be it. I know what we all say Edward and McGregor but I think I'm going to go with Ryan Christie my, that's my prediction Ryan Christie is going to be our most valuable player crazy enough to say we'll see goals and assists contribution we'll see how many games he gets under his belt but overall look at take a draw there Nice are a good side. I've said it before, you know, they're not they're not a bad side. They've been in Europa League and stuff in the last couple of years, so they've had good players as well. So they've done well against us. We stepped up the gear. Obviously, Patrick Kamala came off the bench, took the ball quite well, chased on to the keeper. Obviously, the keeper made a hash of it, and he capitalised and scored a nice goal. So congratulations to Patrick. I know it's, it's not a competitive goal, but you know what? It's all about confidence for a striker like that. That has been that came in in January, only got about twelve minutes on his belt, senior, and then he's had to get in, he's had to get in a bit of pre-season time as well. So I've high hopes from, but I'm going to be out straight, which is I think Lee Griffiths will still be my number two. I know at the moment Lee has been left out left alone in Glasgow, left at home in Glasgow, with um, reports that his fitness levels are not great. A lot of um, talk that he's acting to go on social media. He's not taking his um his job serious. Look at Lee Griffiths as an athlete is a great athlete. Unbelievable free kick taper, unbelievable passion on the pitch, great dead ball expert, corners as well, he contributes with and some shot on him as well. Look at Lee scored over hundred goals for us. So people that are gonna doubt Lee Griffiths say, ah, this he's he's out and all. The ball hasn't been kicked yet in the league, you know. We have a transfer window there to October. If he doesn't turn up for five games, if he doesn't score, if he starts and doesn't score for five games, everybody will have the handbags out and say, oh, look, get rid of him, get rid of him. Look, at, he's a winner. Look, at every striker goes through dips and forms. He's been through a tough two and a half years. He's bounced back. He, even last season from January to the St. Mirren game when he got the hat-trick, he showed it. He wants to play for that short. And if he was to leave, the only club I'd like to see him go to is Hibs. Go back to his childhood club. But I don't want them leaving. I think we need this competition. We need Patrick Kamala having Lee Griffiths on his toes. You know, like obviously Lee's contribution with Alton Edward with the 3 5 2 is a great, it's a great contribution. And I got the best out of Edward as well in the second half of the season. So give Lee a chance. I think he'll come back. I think he has, obviously, there's two things. I think three things that are play in his mind. Obviously, he wants to keep his mental health fresh, which is a lot of people want to keep their mental health fresh, especially in a workplace, which is understandable. Completely agree. Second thing is he wants to be in that Celtic team. You know, he wants to be a 10 in a row winner. You know, he wants to have their medals, as much as medals as he wants, then shipping off somewhere else where he's not going to win a medal. May not win, win a medal. You don't know. And the third thing is he wants to target for the Scotland spot. He wants to be Scotland's number one striker. So hard work pays off. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens, Lee. I'm going to back you. I'm going to back you as much as I can, you know. You know, I, I'm a fan of Lee Griffiths. As much 
there has been times in the back of my head like is his days over is his days numbered i don't think this time around i don't think so by the way the pink jersey bought it today in dublin celtic shop with the L roman no doubt about it, but look at long sleeve can't complain um opposition tomorrow leon very good side they have musa dembele as we all know who musa is and Jason Denoyer that played at Celtic as well for a season on loan. They're a very good side. They were brutal against Rangers the other day. No offence, they were brutal against Rangers. You could even beat Rangers when Rangers were down to 10 men. So, um, look, it's still pre-season for them. I wouldn't take this team for granted. This is their home stadium. And now, fair enough, there's not many fans in the stadium. But um, things can change, you know. It's pre-season. They're looking at the same mentality as us. They want to get the fitness levels up. They want to get a bit of confidence try as much players out so what i'm going to the prediction i'm going to go for tomorrow realistically we all want to win we all want to win you know we all want to get sell to get a couple of goals play the team off the pitch usual business my heart is saying realistically 2-1 celtic 2-1 celtic i think there's still edges still dints in the defense where we're going to concede and that's the honest truth i think it's down to I know this sounds crazy, but Fraser Foster is a massive player at that back, leading that defence with a line, and we still don't have that. Don't get me wrong, don't disrespect to Scott Bain, but Fraser is the man, and we still need Fraser back. So, goals from air department. I'm going to fancy odds on, odds on Edward tomorrow. I think it's in France. He was unlucky the other day. I'm going to go with Odson on this, and I'm going to go with James Forrest. I think James wasn't bad the other day. Wasn't bad. Not tracked back. Um... The Mopper here is doing well for him. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with James Forrest on this one. I'm going to go say 2-1. Um, look, it's just great to see them back, you know. It's great to actually do previews about games and talk about the season coming up. It's been a long five months and I, I don't know how a lot of us got through it, to be honest. You know, it's been it's been tough. Like it, There's only so much Celtic games you can watch. There's only so much throwback stuff you can do. There's only so much memories you can put up, you know, as much as it, it it's amazing. You know, you just want the current situation. You want the current squad out there playing football, fancying in 10 in a row, have a few drinks with the boys or with the girls, just dreaming of the 10th title, dreaming of a treble, dreaming of getting the Champions League, dreaming of beating Rangers, just just dreaming of it. And it can, it's going to happen. It's going to happen. If the boys work hard, have the winning mentality, as they always have, we should we should walk it. But football's not easy, you know. Players get injured, form dips, as we talked about Lee. I don't think he's form dipped. I just think he's, his fitness has probably has dipped. But I think he'll bounce back. So, look, at, let us know what you think. I hope you have a good weekend. I hope you enjoy the game. It's quarter, quarter eight tomorrow on Premier Sports. And then we have PSG on Tuesday as well. Look, at, let's, let's take tomorrow as it comes. PSG, it's a scary name. It reminds us the Champions League, but... It's pre-season. We're a different squad. It's a it's a different scenario. So let us know. I'll speak to us all soon. Hell, hell up the Celts.